Welcome to Geography Gen. This session is going to be all about using OS maps and what contour lines are. So what you should be able to see, because I've drawn an arrow on the map, but I'm now pointing to it with a pencil as well, is you should be able to see this little reddy brown line here. And you should be able to see lots of them on the map here. Now, what these show is they show the height of the, the height of the land above sea level and they're recorded in meters. So what this tells you is this little bit of land here is 88 meters above sea level. These little lines are called contour lines. Now, when you look over a map, you will be able to tell from these contour lines um, whether the land is hilly or whether it's really flat. So if I just move over here and we'll have a look at an example of a really hilly part. So where they've written the height of the land on the map like here, this is the spot height. That's what the definition is. So it's where they've written the height of the land. So this is 162 metres above sea level. Now, what you might be able to see is if we look along this area here, the contour lines are a little bit further apart. What that means is it means that the land is going upwards here. So the land is rising, but it's relatively gentle over here you should be able to see that these contour lines are really close together. And what that means is it means that the land is really, really steep in that place. Now, if I go over here to this section of the map here, you should be able to see you almost can't see any white here. They've drawn little lines so close together um, that you almost can't see the map. And then you might notice it says above it, Ballard Cliff. So here it's almost a vertical drop down to the sea. So it's very, very steep. So the contour lines are really, really close together. And then you can see that if you were to walk on this path down here, you should be able to work out because the contour line numbers are decreasing. You should be able to work out from that, that walking down here, you would be going down from the top of the cliff down a hill. And if we go the other way along this path towards Swanage, you've got exactly the same thing on this side. So you can see here, this is 50 metres above sea level. And there you are descending down to 20 metres above sea level. And here you can actually see the beach as well, which is going to be only just above sea level.